Hello guys, this is tutorial number 9 for Silex 12.2 In this tutorial I will show you how to do a 2-4 to four decoder So I'm gonna go ahead and type it up and then I'll explain it to you guys So I finished typing my decoder, my 2-4 to four decoder And my, these are my variables um, Select is a uh, ranges from Since I have a 2-4 to four decoder, I need 2 bits for my select my select is just uh input telling me if i choose zero zero then my output will come from the zero section but i'll explain that later right now uh, but um uh, my select is a two bit select and then i have an enable which allows for the chip to be enabled if i don't enable it then no no i'll none of the outputs will output so let's keep going then the output is y which has a 4-bit output since it's my my decoder is up for two two to four and then i have an always block which is sensor to the select and the enable then with this loop here i i say if my enable is not set or is not high then y will be the following the b will be one 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 else if my enable is selected or is high then check for the select if the select is zero zero then my y will be one 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 zero if my select is zero one then my y will be one one zero one if my select is one zero one, sorry about that, one zero one, then my select will be one zero one one. Else, if my select is none of those, then my select, my output will be zero one one one. And that's basically it to do a decoder. There's different ways the same to do a decoder, but this is the way I prefer to do it. Now let me go ahead and do the test bench so that I'll show you how it reads. And uh, basically, before I go and do my test bench, I want to make sure that you guys understand this um, input select, two bit input select. For those of you who don't understand, this basically will be, for example, if I didn't have that, I will have to write two of them. Like, for example, input select one, comma, input select two. But the way I have it here with two bits select, that means I could either use, I could use it if when I don't have to write two of them. It saves me a line, basically. And let me go ahead. So now I'm going to go ahead and write the test bench. Okay, so here's the test bench. This uh, time format, this is to show you for the physical test bench. So it's the outputs and inputs are... Sh Actually, the output is shown according to these in nanoseconds. Then right here, the select. Uh, I started with the 0, 0. And the enable, I have an enable to make sure that it works. I wait some time, enable the enable. And then wait some more time, change the select, and so on. I keep changing it, and then at the end, I ena in disable the enable. So that way I know whether my enable works. And then I end my initial begin. I do an always loop that is sensitive to select or enable. And this loop will be displaying my output for the decoder. Let me then go ahead and save this. Let's check our syntax. And then let's run our test bench. Okay, so if you look right here on this console right here on the bottom, uh, bottom left, I'm checking my input, so that's good. And my decoder works. Uh, if you look up here too, you should be able to see what I'm seeing. Let's see. Um, 
Okay, that works up here too. So basically, you could either read it up here on the drawing or down here with the with the text. And that's it, guys. I uh, hope this helps you out for your next lap, and we'll see you soon.